Whoa, that's perfect. You see that? That is perfect. Hello to all the head besties in the land. My friend Lauren is here. We're gonna do a very fun technique today that's very popular on TikTok and it's that two big bright money piece that surrounds the face frame. If you say it looks good on me, I'll go for it. Don't worry, you're safe in my hands. But before we get started, guys, make sure you click thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. Let's go, come on. All right, time to put your body kind of on. <laughs> now that we're in here, I want you guys to get a close look at Lauren's hair, okay? So over a year and a half of growth and this is her natural hair. So she's a natural level five, light brown. And you can see the baby lights that I put in a year and a half ago, it still blends and it transitions smoothly into this ombre. So every head of hair you have coming in, is gonna be different. So when we're talking about the big chunky money piece, you can't just put two chunks in the front because it's not gonna work out. So let's just say I grab these two chunks right here in the front and I decide to highlight them blonde but make everything else dark. But what's gonna happen? It disappears. It looks, it gets thinner at the bottom and it disappears and it looks kind of funny. It ends up looking like two little antennas <laughs> popping out. <laughs> Almost like a little cockroach, like a little bug, like two antennas. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> So I want to show you guys what I'm going to do. So we definitely want to make sure we look at her hairline. So when you look at her hairline, it goes back almost in a V. So you can't just grab a chunk here. You have to slice it diagonal so that way it goes in. So make sure you look at how the hair falls. Lift the hair up, lay the hair down. Is this how much blonde you want? Because if it's not enough, you may have to go further back. All right, so now I'm going to go into her sides. So I took her side piece in. So when she pulls her hair back, you'll see that blonde. So all the face frame will be light. This will make it thicker on the end. So when her long hair falls, you can see it. But still, notice how thin it looks right down here. There's not enough hair density on the bottom. So this tells me I need to not only take her whole parietal section in, I may have to go all the way behind her ear and pull this guy in and make her blonde. All right, you ready? We're ready. We're ready. We are gonna go over to the color bar. Come along. So measuring is very, very important. We are gonna use my friend, my hero, collagen repair boosting powder X. All right, so you guys need to know, Lauren's hair turns blonde very, very easily. Well, that's nice. You do, you turn blonde very easily. And the thing is, I don't want to use Big Nine on her because I feel that when I would use Big Nine on her, her hair would turn too white. And I don't want her blonde to be white. I want her blonde to be kind of bright. So bright and light are two different things. We're gonna use 908, and 908 lifts up to eight levels. Okay, so I am going to use 30 grams of Magnum 8 with 1 to 2 ratio of dedicated 30 bar developer. We're going to put it right on end, so it's going to be 1 to 2 ratio. So all together we're getting 90 grams of product. So you guys can choose to use a full scoop of Guy Tang Collagen Powder Protective Booster X, or you can do half. So I'm going to do half a scoop. And then we're going to add this right in to the bowl. All right, so we're gonna mix it up. This is our new friend. Her name is Ping Ping. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna make sure we Oh, the way, that is so cool. Yeah, we're making a cake. <laughs> all right, so you guys can also add Olaplex number one into the formula to use a squirtage. And you just gotta make sure you stir it on in. And remember, Olaplex, you want to pour it in after the fact that you already mix it. Okay, so I'm gonna split her hair in half right down the center because it just helps me navigate her hair a lot more easily. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my first section just to see if this is enough hair. So we are gonna use my back combing diffuse technique. In the 90s, the look was more direct from the scalp. We will literally bleach the hair right into the scalp and that's what makes it look dated. So what's really important is to take something from the past in the 90s and modernize it and make it almost like a fusion, make it more wearable today so that way it's low maintenance. We are gonna take this panel and make sure it's fine enough so you can actually see through it because if it's too thick, the lift won't be as even. 
I'll back comb it once, lift it up, I comb it right again. All right, so you can see here, I feathered the lightener onto the foil. And this is gonna create adherence and it's gonna make you not work as hard. So you wanna get close to the scalp edge. Take notice how I'm laying the hair down in the flat panel. I always apply most of the product through the mid shaft area. And so after that, as I work my way up the feather, you're gonna get a lot of brightness. Usually I do 10 volume around the face if I'm doing a baby light, but because I am using Magnemate and because I am back combing so it's slightly off of the scalp, I want a little bit more of a push. So you see here, she has some highlights here. We are gonna softly overlap these areas by feathering it right down. If I check her foils near the end and her ends look compromised, I can actually hold the ends and expose it to open air and it will protect the ends from getting any breakage. Now do not fold this foil up because if you fold this foil up, what's gonna happen is now the heat distribution is gonna even out and you're gonna cause damage on the ends. So you want the hair to be lifted 180 and push it right down close to the scalp. And this is when you extend the hair right back down into a 45 degree angle. And remember to hold it nice and tight in the flat panel. See this? My fingers are flat. And maximum diffusion starts here. Minimum diffusion starts here. So I'm going to do somewhere in between. So I'm not going to start down here. I'm going to start right in the middle. See that? You'll see that the hair is gripping to the comb. And you're going to make sure you push it right on back. Now this is going to give me a hard surface to paint on, so it's actually a lot more easier. So you're seeing what we're doing is one, two, three, four foils on this side of her parting. And when do another four foils, repeating the same thing on the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back and show you guys how I'm going to foil the side pieces. So now that we're around the parietal area, because I'm done with all the foils on top of her money piece face frame, the side parts are so important. The parietal area is where you'll see it when the hair is pulled back, when you curl your hair, when the hair is down, it makes it more thicker and denser. So you really got to get the side pieces in. So you will have to take notice the hair around the parietal is a lot more finer. And this hair is gonna turn blonde really, really fast. So remember, you wanna over direct the hair to the front. And again, I'm gonna use my thick body Gai Tang bodybuilding texture spray because this allows for texture. So that way you're able to back comb the hair. So I'm just gonna spray this on the hair, which would give me a nice texture to work with. And I'm just gonna repeat this till I do five back-to-back -back foils on her face frame. Now keep in mind guys, everyone's hair is different. So just because I'm using five back-to-back -back foils doesn't mean you need to do it on your client because you have to look at your client's hair and assess and diagnose the history, the density, how much hair to have. Because sometimes you only need two uh, foils, sometimes you only need three, sometimes you need six. So it varies per client. And also if you need more lift because their starting level is darker, you can use Big Nine instead of Magnum Mate. All right, so I'm done with the parietal area. So now we're down at the nape. So you can see the nape is a little bit finer too. And I'm actually probably only gonna need three foils back to back. So when this area comes to the front, it's gonna have some density. So it's gonna have enough hair to frame the face of the hair. And then you still don't see it in the back because it's hidden underneath because it looks more like almost like a peekaboo. So if she does wear her hair up in the ponytail, you see blonde underneath, blonde around the face, blonde everywhere, just through here. And she wears it down, it just frames her face and she has this beautiful dark color. So you get, you get that beautiful contrast that you want. So again, uh, this is going in a B formation down, back comb the hair. All right, so I'm just gonna do three back-to-back -back foils and we'll be back. All right, so now that the foils are processing in Lauren's hair, I want to base the rest of her hair that's remaining in the back. So she's a natural level five, but as you can see, she has a little bit of an old ombre that is from her past baby lights that we did. So I'm gonna gravitate towards using Naked Glow 7 and of course the 5NI Demi. So the Demi Permanent Color Box and Gaitan Madeli is gonna be the black box. 
So don't get it confused with the permanent hair color box. When you're using permanent hair color, it has ammonia in it, so it will shift the base and it can expose the underlying pigment, and that's something you might not want to do. So let me show you guys the swatch and what it looks like. So Naked Glow 7 looks like that. It has a little bit more warmth in it. And because I want to almost act like it's going to fill the hair, while it's adding shine, but it's not going to be dark enough to even out with her natural. So I'm going to add in 5 and 9. So 5 and I is going to give it that depth. So because her hair is very porous on the ends, if I just use 5 and 9 by itself, it might look a little drab. So adding a little bit of warmth to her hair is going to fill it while depositing that perfect color without going too dark. We're going to open up the tube of Naked Glow 7. We're going to use a full tube here. 55 grams. So now I'm going to use 10 grams of 5 and 9. Perfect brown tone that you're going to get from this. You're going to love it, I promise you. So I'm going to mix it 1 to 2 ratio with 6 volume developer. Make sure you use the dedicated developer at all times because it's going to give you the perfect consistency and give you like the perfect result you want. I'm going to pour that 6 volume in. And now I'm going to whip it up. I am now going to add a little splash of Olaplex. So now we're going to pour that in. And of course, the Guy Tang Collagen Powder. This is the Boosting Powder X. This is amazing, as you guys already know, because we've already spoken about it. Add it in, okay? Because you could use Olaplex with it while mixing with the booster at the same time. Why not? Double the protection, right? All right, now it's ready. We're gonna go apply. Can't wait. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a peek at her foils to see how far she lifted. I don't like peeking while we're doing it because it could disrupt the lifting process because it's gonna have air going in and slows it down. So don't peek. You don't need to peek at everything. Whoa, that's perfect. You see that? So remember how I said I want her to be like a nine to a nine and a half? And it hasn't been the full processing time. That is perfect. Oh my god, that's a nine right now. So I'm in the air conditioned room. She's not even under heat, and she lifted to a nine with Magnumate 30 volume. That includes Olaplex, that includes the My Hero Guy Tank Collagen Boosting Powder X. Everything is all in there. So you can see that lift is pretty dramatic. That's like the perfect lift that you want the hair to be at, to be bright and to tone with. And because I'm using dim permanent color, it's not that scary. And I'm going to apply this all over. And remember, it's not going to affect the natural hair. All right, guys, so check this out. I apply it to the first quadrant of her hair. And you can definitely see how it has deepened and darkened to this beautiful shade of level 7. And if you guys have not used dim permanent colors before, Please, please do yourself a favor and definitely use it, especially in Gaiting color because it's going to change your life. Oh my god, you can see the contrast. So look at this next to each other. So you see this brown that's been sat on for about seven minutes by now. And here's the blonde that I just applied the Naked Glow 7 to. So you can see where it started from to where it's going to end up. Beautiful brown without filling the hair. There's no filling involved. You don't have to put yellow and orange because you know that's scary. Okay, so now that I have finished basing all of her hair, you can see all of her hair sitting back here is processing for 25 minutes. I'm going to put a bag over all of her foils so you can see how it lifts all of her foils up and pretty much wrap it on top of itself so that way it can have heat conduction and the lift can be even. So this is to ensure that you trap the moisture and heat in these foils here because especially the last section that we did, it needs time to get light. And when you're working in a very air-conditioned environment, it's not going to get light enough. And you're going to sit for 25 minutes. One thing I always find that's very, very important in a relationship, whether it's a client relationship or a personal relationship or a business relationship, relationship always takes communication. And one of the things I think Lauren always trust me with her hair is because I always communicate to her. I tell her what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, what it can look like, what can come out of it, whether it's a paranormal situation, I'm always honest. I think we're all guilty as humans. We're afraid to communicate because we're afraid that we're going to be judged or we're going to be dismissed. And nobody likes to feel dismissed. And I know some hair besties out there is like, just shut up and show us the hair. But you know what? This is the Guy Tang YouTube channel. I've always done this. This is nothing new. I always love to share a part of what I believe in because I believe 
Although I love hair, we are more than only hair. We are multi-dimensional people, and if we're not healthy, we can't do hair. If we're not feeling happy, we're, we don't want to share. I feel like this is a place where I feel like we should have an exercise in our minds and learn together because I think when you learn to be a better person, you become a better hairstylist, a better colorist, and we learn how to communicate. You have to build a relationship. It's not the person in the chair is not just staring in the mirror. It's They're not a mannequin head. You. It's a no, person. No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Communication. But with that being said, now we are ready to rinse out her hair color. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's oh, go do shampoo ball. Ha! <laughs> Alright, this part is very, very important. It's so, the important part. So I kind of just push all the foils out of the way because I have to rinse the dark color out first. This is the Naked Glow 7. Look at this beautiful brown that you're seeing here. This is beautiful. It's not too dark. It's not too light. So that's why when you look at this brown, look at it when it's wet. It's so pretty. There's no green. And it has like that perfect tone that she's going to love. All right, so now this is a great time for me to just pull the foils out. Oh my gosh, look at that even lift. <gasps> Are you kidding me? And we even overlapped her hair, guys. But look how even that lift is. Are you kidding me? So remember how I said nine and a half? This is a level nine and a half. It's bright enough. It's not too white and washed out. This is the perfect lift. You guys, I use Magnum 8, okay? I use 30 volume, I use Olaplex, I use the Guy Tank Collagen Powder, everything. And look how healthy the hair is. Look, I'm pulling it, it still has a lot of elasticity, has all the stretch, it's healthy. Oh my gosh, it's even everywhere. Like, I am shaking with excitement. So I just rinsed out her hair and we're gonna use Olaplex number two. So every step I'm doing here is very, very crucial. I wanna make sure that her hair is healthy, especially after lightening, glazing, darkening. I just want her to have the best results. So I'm gonna go and use Olaplex number two first. Let it sit on for a few minutes so it closes the cuticle. Uh, it acidifies the hair because Olaplex number two does have a pH of 3.5. So that closes the cuticle completely. So Think about it, when we bleach the hair or lighten the hair, what happens is the cuticle is all swollen. So at this point, you have to really soothe the cuticle. So that way, before you tone the hair, it can absorb the toner evenly. I mixed up Sandstorm, our Guy Tang Mandani Express Toner. So this tones hair in less than five minutes. So this is really important that you put on damp hair. I already mixed a bowl of it on the side. I added Olaplex number one to it, the collagen boosting powder inside of it too. So this is a very crucial step. I want to show you guys what the swatch looks like here. So this is all the express toners that are available in the line. There's seven shades. Eclipse sits at a level six. Everything else sits at a level nine. Um, the cooler tones can absorb all the way down to a level eight sometimes, like Misty Mauve, because cool tones always appear darker. Golden Sands is amazing. I love blush. Um, Sandstorm is the one I'm going to use today. This one has a very nice taupey neutral tone that I love. So I'm going to put over her routage area because I want that to sit on the longest. And I'm going to drag it out through the mid shaft and ends because I want to have a little rawness so it's still bright around the face. But I like the routage area to be a little bit more muted. So this is a method I love doing. So I'm going to use the Guy Tang My Hero Collagen Repair X2. This is the X2 step spray. And this repairs the hair and it's also a cuticle sealer and hair softener. So I'm going to spray it all on her ends, right? So the toner is currently processing on the routage area. So this helps the hair absorb the collagen. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use my hands to put the sandstorm toner on the hair really, really quick. And I got to move quick because the hair will absorb the toner very, very rapidly. Look how beautiful those highlights are. And you can still see a little brightness through it. So you have that vibrancy that you want. All right, so now I'm gonna go and shampoo her hair with X1. This brings clarity. It allows me to really reveal how beautiful her color is. The next step is My Hero X2. So this is just gonna ensure that we soften the hair, close to cuticle. And the next step we're gonna do is X3. And this is the internal repair treatment. So remember, you're treating the hair with collagen, keratin, aloe. You're soothing the cuticle. You're repairing the protein that gets damaged during lightning or any type of 
you know, mechanical, chemical damage that can occur. The internal repair ensures that you repair the hair from the inside. Anyway, so after this sits on for a few minutes, we're going to rinse her out and then we're going to put X4. So now we're going to squirt out X4 and this is the external reconstructor, okay? This really locks down the cuticle. It has a pH of 3.5, so it ensures that your cuticle is locked down, color is locked in, your hair feels clean, smooth like glass. All right, we're gonna let her sit on for anywhere from three to five minutes and we are done. You guys, we are so happy. <laughs> Thank Look you so hair. much. Yeah, it's the 90s done right. <laughs> I'm gonna leave links below for all of my channels, okay? My, my Facebook, my TikTok. Ooh. So all you TikToker girls, make sure you watch this video and use my product, duh. Go to the stylist that uses my product. Thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments below, tell me what you think, and download my music, y'all, on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Amazon Music, Google Play, and my album's called More To Me, and we're gonna leave you with my teaser to my new music video. Bye!